Yellow viewers, welcome once again to another episode of African Confessions HD right here on Extraordinary Africa. My name is Solution Uncle. If you're still new in this show, we publish a lifetime confessions. Usually, we publish anonymously for their own safety reasons. Today, we have two videos for you viewers. And this in this first video, we have four confessions. Make sure you stay tuned as we are going to take you through all these stories. I hope I found you well. Hope you are doing well. After all the threats I received, I am okay. Thank you so much for the love. Without wasting much of your time, guys, let's move into our first confession for today. Yellow Solution Uncle and Fans, please advise me. Before posting, please note my name is Hayden. I am a lady from Lilongwe, Malawi. Uncle, I am breathing fire. I don't know what to do. It is a long story, but I will try to shorten. The whole thing was a lie from the beginning. In 1997, I got married to this royal family I can't mention. At first, my husband is his own girlfriend he wanted to marry, but her mother didn't want the girl. Mom-in-law wanted me to be her daughter-in-law since my mother was her friend. According to what prophets are telling me today, my mom and the queen were in a group of witches. They did duties on whose child was next to be eaten. They only did that to sons. So the queen has one son whom she wanted to be selected the crown prince by the king. My mom has two sons. When it was queen's time to sacrifice a son, the queen begged my mom to, to let them sacrifice my other brother, my remaining brother. The first brother was already sacrificed by then. The pay was the prince was supposed to marry me. I will become part of the royal family. The two evil mothers agreed to force the marriage. As a result, my second and remaining brother was sacrificed in the prince's name. About 20 years after the incident, the prince was mature enough to get married, already circumcised as needed in our tradition. Unlike his mother and my mother planned, he said a dead poor girl from the village. The king liked the girl to be his daughter-in-law, but the queen didn't want. She was afraid of my mother. Mom and the queen sent this other cruel man from the village to kidnap, rape the girl till she was pregnant, then returned her to her parents' place. No action was taken by the parents. They knew the real family was in it. Mom and mother-in-law was to let me cook food and place a love charm in it. I cooked the food. It was given to the prince. This is how they forced our love. I got married to the prince. The two mothers used a charm to convince the king to choose my husband as the crown prince. He was choosing the crown prince, but he was not just chosen. Mom and mother-in-law is to bewitch the king's favorite son from another mother. The two mothers bribed the spirit mediums of the village to never disclose. For years, it stayed like that. The king never died. My husband remained the crown prince. So by the time I got married, my husband's mother was in a polygamous marriage. The king, he had four wives. The man was very old enough to choose the crown prince. He was always sick. It was always ups and downs. But as he got old and old, it was getting worse and worse. According to their tradition from their forefathers, the king is free to choose the son he wanted. Their mother's arrangement does not matter. So I got married at a point mom-in-law was fighting with others for her son to be chosen. The king's wife, whose son was bewitched, told me you won't go anywhere in your life. For years, we only managed to have one child, a girl child. The king died. My husband became the king. Uncle, I was the queen for only one week. After a week, my husband had a short illness and died. Sangoma say it was mom's in laws due for her child to be sacrificed. My husband's half-brother 
became the chief they already knew all the evil games my mom and my mother-in-law did only that they don't have guts to ask my husband was in power so after the new king was in inaugurated we were forced out with my daughter a mom and my mom-in-law luckily my daughter found a job to work in a non-governmental organization she was the one taking care of us she was recruited to work in palestine now she is under the rubble her board is not yet discovered my mom and my mother-in-law died same day last month doctor said it was cholera but how same day the flood with with my daughter's office in gaza was one of the first buildings to be fired by israel i am old who will take care of me mom killed all the relatives yellow uncle hope you are safe from the threats you are receiving please read this one for me i went to a date last year with a guy i met on timber before the date we agreed that we were just going to chill and get to know each other because it was our first date we went to a restaurant for food and drinks then later he proposed that we go to his place guys that man lives in a small heaven after 10 months i asked to go to the bathroom for a loo to my surprise when i came back he, he wasn't there i called him he didn't answer he came back after a while he started touching me few minutes after he came back to a point where i became uncomfortable and asked him to stop because i didn't like what he was doing he said we were not we are not going to do anything he just wants to smurf me i told him that i don't like it but thong, guys tell me why that man said i want to breastfeed with boss breast i immediately told him that i want to leave from nowhere he just disappeared i don't understand what happened later i lost my senses for some hours only to know what was happening when a mob was around me shouting thief 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 i tried to run away but the people were very away they tied me down till the police arrived it was like i was dreaming i was taken to the police station and charged with unlawful entry i saved my four month jail sentence up to now i don't recall what happened and i don't understand it even my young sister confirms she last saw me with that rich guy we went to the place there are other people staying they they don't know him they say they have been there for more than 40 years now if i date someone the relationship won't go anyway i dream that guy saying i am your only husband uncle i think i need to be cleaned it's true the devil is at work the following confession is strictly for the people above the age of 18. those who are below the age are advised not to listen hello uncle please keep me anonymous so i am asking for help because i have tried a lot of things to solve my problems but still i'm failing i have these pimples on my vagina they are big and when i pop them only blood mixed with white stuff comes out i thought i was sick so i went to the clinic to check my hiv status and the results came back negative i have abstained from relationships for a year now because this is messing up my self esteem what can i use to get rid of these pimples because i can't have a boyfriend or bath in front of friends the pimples are not inside but outside the vagina what can i use to get rid of them i will be reading the comments thanks yellow solution uncle i believe you are okay i did this guy who was older than me so he rented in an empty room so we used to sleep on a mattress so he asked to open a bank account under my name to buy bed and other furniture at russell's but he was the one who's going to pay for it so one day i was at work he asked for my bank statement because he is opening it online i sent it to him okay he opens the account i then got a credit account of 50000 rands whereas i am earning 2000 rands i was in shock and asked how come he was confused 
as I was. Then I left it like that. Week later, I couldn't access my bank account. It was blocked. I phoned the captain. They said I opened a fraud account. I told him about this. He didn't know anything about everything. He was just confused, confused as I was. Month later, I went through the documents he sent to Russell's only to find out he edited my bank statement and said I earned 50,000 rands. And he put the company that I, I don't work for. When I asked him about it, he just make up stories that don't make sense. And my problem is I can't open any credit account. How can I be cleared? How can my name be cleared? I still have all these fake documents he created. If that would be uh, needed, please anyone help. Yes, viewers, I think we need to pray before any comment. Let's pray together. Uh, Lord, you watch all over me. You are the shed at my right hand. The sun will not harm me by day, nor the moon by night. You keep me from all harm. You watch all over my life. You watch all my coming and going, both now and forevermore. Amen. Isaiah 54 verse 17 says, No weapon that is fashioned against you shall succeed, and you shall refute every tongue that rises against you in judgment. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and their vindication from me, declares the Lord. Second confession. I think I need to do a bit a reread. Hello, Uncle. Hope you are safe from threats. I went to death. Yes. Guys, 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 guys. This is a story from one of our sisters. She went to a first date uh, with uh, this other guy. They agreed. At first, they agreed they were going to to a restaurant for food and drinks then the guy later proposed that they should go to his place and the place was awesome i think we published a bit similar story the girl ended up being raped this one is be different but she ended up struggling she ended up in prison guys before we did these people let do a strong background check let's do a background check you won't go with someone you don't know where he or she is from that's risking life this life is like gold some people are crying to live like what we are doing right now so we should not play around my sister thank you so much for sharing we have learned from your story as i usually say guys we need to pray we need to pray i'll repeat it when you wake up in the morning, pray. Midday, pray. Before sleeping, pray. Before eating, pray. Before a death, before a first day, pray. Put God first in whatever you do. God first. Is the devil is at work. He is trying to use us in different ways so we need to be very careful we need to be very careful you can't sell yourself for food and drink spending four months in prison for food and drink the devil will be very happy that your your life is at pause there's no developments uh, in your life at that moment so guys we need to pray we need to pray and there was uh, the third confession this is uh, a message I received from one of our 
our sisters she is saying she is having a problem a pimples on her vagina wall i think ladies you need to assist uh, this sister of us and there was another confession the fourth confession i did it i think i need to read the reread this one yellow solution uncle i believe you are okay i did this guy who was older than me so he rented an empty room so we used to sleep on a mattress so she asked it to open so he asked it to open a, a bank account under my name to buy bed and other furniture at Russell's but he was the one who was going to pay for it so one day i was at work he asked it for my bank statement because he's opening it online i sent it to him okay you open the account i then got a credit account of 58000 rands whereas i am earning 2000 I was in shock and asked how come he was confused as I was then I I left it like that week later I could not ac- access my bank account it was blocked I found captech they said I opened a fraud a fraud account and this man is very evil very evil why could you do such to the person who is cooking for you the person who you are sleeping with Ah, that's evilness that's evilness i'm sorry my sister uh i think if we have um, those people who deal with finance those people if we are with them around or if you face the similar challenge before please help this sister of us i'm so sorry for what is happening and that was the first confession the first confession is a clear lesson um i would like to thank you my mother for sharing that story we have learned we have learned we must do everything we do with god in it something with without god in it will perish at the end this is what is happening the whole thing was a lie like you said my mother the whole thing was a lie from the beginning ah uh, i am so sorry you lost your child but we we'll keep you in our prayers and you need to ask for forgiveness to god ask for forgiveness god will set you free God will set you free. We pray everything is going to be okay. I'm so sorry you lost your daughter. Yes, viewers, that was it for the first video for today. Hope you are all well. Let's meet at 12:30 uh as I'll be publishing another video for you. Thank you so much for always supporting Extraordinary Africa. Thank you so much. I don't know how to thank you guys. You mean a lot to me. Thank you. May God bless you. May God bless you under terms. I don't know how to thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Peace. Enjoy your day. Let's meet at cough that